I'm Pastor Steve. Welcome to Victory Harbor. We're so glad you guys are in service with us today. Today's sermon nugget is, Who is this King of Glory? We're going to start with the Word of God and we're going to Psalms 24, verses 7 through 10. Lift up your heads, you gates. Raise up ancient doors. When the King of Glory will come in, who is this King of Glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, you gates. Raise up ancient doors. Then the King of Glory will come in. Who is this King of Glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of Glory. Who is this King of Glory? Have we looked in the book of Genesis? We see that He is the Creator. He's the one that took nothing and made something. He's the one that spoke everything into existence. He said, let there be light and there was light. He made man and breathed the very breath of life in Him. He is the King of Glory. If we go into the Word of God a little bit farther, we look into the book of Exodus and we realize that He is that Passover Lamb. He's the one that shed His blood for us. He's the one that blood was put on the door and the death angel come and passed by. Our King of Glory hung on a cross, shed His blood for us that we might live. Who is this King of Glory? He is that pillar of fire by night in the book of Genesis. He is that in Exodus. He is that cloud of smoke in the book of Exodus. He is the King of Glory. In the book of Leviticus, who is this King of Glory? He is the scapegoat that took our sins upon Him. He is our King of Glory. Who is this King of Glory? In the book of Numbers, He is that brazen serpent that Moses raised up when the people were snake bitten. If they would look up on that brazen serpent, they were healed. He's the one that was lifted up on the cross for us. And if we look to Him, we will be delivered. Going on in the book of Ruth, who is this King of Glory? He is our Redeemer, the one that paid the price for us, the one that gave us prosperity, the one that gave us provision and healing and salvation. He is our Redeemer. In the book of Psalms, He is the stone that the builders rejected. They didn't want Him. The Jewish people didn't want Him. But that didn't stop Him. He became the chief cornerstone. In the book of Isaiah, He is the King of glory. He is the Prince of Peace, the Everlasting Father, the Counselor, the Mighty God. He is amazing to me. Who is this King of glory? Hold over in the book of Ezekiel, it says He's the wheel that's in the middle of the wheel. He's the one we depend upon, the one we trust. In the book of Daniel, who is this King of glory? He's that fourth man in that fiery furnace. The fire couldn't touch Him. Because the King of Glory was in there with them. Who is this King of Glory? In the book of Matthew, He is the Messiah, the Promised One, the Coming King. In the book of Mark, He is that miracle worker that wherever He went, He performed miracles, healed the sick, even raised the dead. In the book of Luke, who is this King of Glory? He's the Son of Man, even though He was... God, He was made in the form of a man, the Son of Man. He is the King of Glory. Who is this King of Glory? In the book of John, He was the Word that was made flesh. Who is this King of Glory? In the book of Acts, He's the Judge of the living and the dead. Who is this King of Glory? In the book of Romans, He is our Deliverer. The one that delivers us is from everything. In the book of Ephesians, He's our armor, our complete protection. In the book of Philippians, He's a name that's above all names. Can we give Him praise today? Can we give Him praise, this very King of glory? In the book of Colossians, He's the fullness of the Godhead. Totally God, totally everything of God. That is our King of glory. In the book of Philemon, who is? He's a friend that sticks closer than a brother. Who is this King of glory? In the book of Hebrews, He's the blood that washes our sins away. In the book of James, He's that great physician, that great healer. In the book of 1 and 2 Peter, He is our shepherd, the one that guides us and leads us and provides for us. In the book of John, He is the advocate. 
He is our lawyer, the one that defends us. In the book of Jude, He is our Savior. In the book of Revelation, He's the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end, and our soon coming Savior. He always was. He always is. And He always will be. He is my Savior. He's my guide. He's my peace, my joy, my comfort. He's my all in all. He is my King of glory. He is everything to me. I've got a question for you. Are you in relationship with this King of glory? Do you know Him close up and personal? Is He your Savior? If not, would you not try to find a way to turn your heart to Him? He loves you so much He died on the cross for you. And you think, man, it's a hard thing to get saved. No, it's a simple thing to get saved. All you've got to do is repent, fall down before a holy God. Repent of your sins. Know that He is God. You're not. Know that your ways are not right. And repent of them. Turn from sin. And then it says that we would believe in our heart that He come in the flesh, born of a virgin, laying in a stable in a manger, rose up and was crucified for our sins. God in the flesh, in the tomb, resurrected, coming back a reigning king. If you would confess that with your mouth, you shall be saved. And my prayer today is that you have accepted Him as your Savior. He is that King of glory. Can you give Him praise today? Can you lift Him up? Let us pray. Father, we just love you. Thank you, God, that you are the King of glory. That you are all-powerful, Lord. That your ways are above our ways. And I thank you, God, for my personal relationship with you. I thank you, God, that you died on the cross for me. And, Lord, you paid the price for my many sins. I thank you, Lord, you give me enough sense to repent of my sins and turn to you. I trust you. I love you. And I'm looking for your coming, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I ask it in your name. Amen. Thank you for being in our service today. God bless you.